All right, we'll start right here. Let me turn the volume back up so you can hear what they say and what they mock. That would have been a record change. <laughs> Of the tournament. That might have been the third sitter of the So they're saying if the magnet attracts us so much it just sits, that's a sitter for them. Or wedge. Or the ball gets wedged. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we see the same uh, Kawhi Leonard bounce. But this time, the guidance system seems to be a little off. The guidance system and their control system seems to be a little off. Now, it could be mocking us, too, but it seems like the control system is off. And, and I, I keep showing this, and I want you to see this because you can see how they're still adjusting the ball. Watch how they're adjusting the ball to make it drop. They're trying for the ball not to get stuck. Do you see? You see its movement within the magnetic system? Because the system has to be kind of magnetic in the back, too, for the whole system to work. So right now, they're, they're trying to roll that ball out so it doesn't get stuck. You see how they keep adjusting it? You can see that this is all unnatural. You can see it's all unnatural movement by the ball till they, till they finally wiggled the ball free. Almost all that was manipulated, controlled. And I say some kind of... NCAA tournament, that would have been a record change. <laughs> right here again. Kawhi Leonard bounce. Kawhi Leonard bounce. Watch how it starts acting unnaturally. See how they, they bounce it back and forth to get it out? Again, it could be a mocking, but it looks like they're having some kind of malfunction. The ball ain't going to keep doing this. I mean, this is all unnatural. They're moving this ball. This is a prime example of ball getting adjusted in flight. They keep bouncing it in here. See that? They're trying to get it out. You can see... The operator is working the ball out. He really doesn't want the ball stuck, so he's working it out. So this is this is like more than proof.